Today's video is about the perimeter tab in the single ply and built up area conditions and is used for the perimeter enhancements due to wind uplift. This tab is the same for both conditions. The fields most used are the adhesive and fasteners for the insulation enhancements. Let's start with the fasteners. Here is my perimeter tab. Up here, I put the width of the perimeter I want. Here is where I can put the width and the length of any corners that I want in this entire thing. I turn this on and here are my fasteners. The number that I put here is over and above the field fasteners. So back here, I'm using eight fasteners per 32 square feet. If I want 12 per 32 square feet in the perimeter and 16 per 32 square feet in the corners, then in my perimeter tab, I'll add four to that eight to give me 12, and I'll add eight to that eight to give me the 16 in the corners. Let's see how the perimeter and corner calculations actually work out. This illustration shows how the edge calculates the perimeter and corners. The light blue area represents the perimeter if you do not count any corners. If you count any corners, the purple here represents that, where it deducts out the perimeter square footage and adds in the corner square footage. Let's see how that works on our drawing. When I add corners to my perimeter tab, these two buttons appear. It doesn't matter whether I use it for an inside or outside corner. Every time I click that and then touch down for each corner, it will add that to my corners. In this case, I've added four corners. Now, what does that look like in my item list behind the scenes? In here, I see my field fasteners being calculated. Down here, I see my perimeter fasteners being added, and down here, I see my corner fasteners being added to that. Now, how does this work if I use adhesive instead? If I'm using adhesive instead, then I'm flipping these on. Once again, the adhesive is over and above the field. So in this case, I've got one layer that I'm adhering down at 12 inches on center. If I want six inches on center in the perimeter and four inches on center in the corner, all I have to do to my perimeter tab is add one additional layer of 12 inches on center in my perimeter and add two layers of 12 inches on center in my corners to give me that six and four that I'm looking for. Now, the thing you have to be careful with, with adhesive, is that this is not talking to the insulation tab. What do I mean by that? If I came back here and I needed to add an additional layer of insulation to be adhered down, I would have to come back here and either double this number to two and change this to four, or if you have a database that has the add-ons for perimeter enhancements added in there, then you could just flip that on. But that's how it works with the adhesive. We also have down here, if you needed to put additional ballast over the membrane, you could do that right here. And then we also have this edge fasteners field, which we don't usually use. We usually allow the base flashing and the gravel stop and those various details to handle the fasteners. But if you want, if you use this, it will add fasteners around your perimeter. So that wraps up the perimeter tab. Thank you for watching.